It's a good start. I've been at UCL since 1998, and before then a research fellowship in Cambridge, and postdoc and a PhD at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. And before then, I actually had a real job for two years. I worked for a small computer company called IBM, and before then I did my degree at the University of Surrey. So that's how I got here, backwards. I do now deeply regret <laughs> not taking a gap year at some stage, so people take a gap year. When I was at school, I thought, if I can't do science, I'd like to be a photographer. People would go, oh, taking photographs is your artistic side coming out. And i go, no, my science is my artistic side because I have to create things from scratch. Uh, I treated myself to this on eBay because when I was 18, that would have cost me about a thousand pounds. Now they're cheap as chips because no one wants them. Taking a photograph was actually um, an event. And of course it was chemistry. And so uh, in the attic in my house uh, in North Wales, um, I set up a dark room. So it's kind of like both things at the same time. Yeah, so music, uh, I listen to a lot of music. Uh, I'm getting older now, so it's a bit more embarrassing to go to gigs. I certainly don't go to festivals, because I think there should be a ban. Well, there should be an age when you're allowed to go to a festival and there should be an age when you're not allowed to go to festival. And if you want an old people's festival, then you should ban young people from them. And if you want a young people's festival, you should ban old people from them. I'm sorry. I think it's easy just to say I listen to obscure things of a large variety. So obviously being Welsh, there's lots of Welsh language stuff. But look at me. This is Flay of a Flav. And Trip D. And behind him, there's Run DMC as well. But there is a pecking order. I would definitely invite Chuck D from Public Enemy to come around for dinner. Um, I think that's it. I think, that, I think there are lots of people who I'd rather invite round to dinner who I already know, yeah. but they can have a guest star, like Chuck D. Because then you find out whether you want to bring him into your friendship group, don't you? Because you might be disappointed. Oh, three albums, three albums. There's a compilation album by a band called That's Bluggy, which I would listen to forever. But we'd end up with It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back by Public Enemy, the third one. I think I'd stick with that Three Feet High and Rising by De La Salle as well. My kids seem to think that most of the music is either depressing or really angry. I don't think uh, either of my children will become scientists, but they'll be what they want to be, which is exactly the point. I will always talk to them in Welsh and nothing else. Um, it was a shame I never quite got round to convincing them at an early enough age that if they responded to me in Welsh, it meant that in fact we could have conversations about other people and they wouldn't understand. No, so w when I was at university, um, I did used to take my notes in Welsh. And not, and not because it stopped people then borrowing them and copying them, but simply because that was the quickest way, because it was coming at me in English. My brain was doing it in Welsh. Translating it back into English was yet another step. There's the language of chemistry, which is universal. My wife is uh, London Greek Cypriot, and so I understand conversations in London Greek. The, the place you like most is your home. Simple. So scientific, a scientific discovery for the future, it may not necessarily be something I would do. But the biggest changes you can make to the world are usually simple. Things. We should concentrate on doing the things that have the most benefit for most people. We will have wars over water supply. If you can actually be the person who can ensure that wherever you are in the world, however poor you are, you will actually have clean water. I think you've done a pretty decent thing in life. But I think um, when governments all over the world try to shape what scientists do, then you usually end up with bad science. Not necessarily science that does bad, but bad science because people are running after money. Sometimes there are boom moments. You can't predict those, but the big changes will, will come because scientists get left alone to do science and sometimes we don't. What advice do I have for young scientists? Be smart. And I think as long as you're inquisitive, you'll be fine. And that's it, that's all you have to be. My name is Dewey Lewis, and I'm a computational material scientist. <laughs>